A lot of people have been saying that, uh, crap, yeah, the, these, this game is horrible because the graphics suck. What no one understands is that it's only these background things, like these buildings and mountains that suck. Really. Because they have, like, horrible graphics. Uh, keep in mind how good the character has been designed for PlayStation 2 standards. I mean, really, the reason the stuff, the stuff wasn't really that well designed is because you're not even there, really. It's, you never go over there. You have no reason to decide that advice. But it's stuff like things, characters you play as and shit, they have to design those nicely because you know, like these trees here, like you, you can go over these trees, it's like you have to design them nicely. You can jump through this lamp, it's kind of funny. Uh, really, graphics don't matter as long as the game's fun. But... Any dumbass who says graphics make the most, you're, you're just a dumbass. <laughs> graphics just make the game more realistic. Can you seriously? They are not gonna let you skip this. Apparently, I'm gonna spoil the game for everyone. Wow. If you don't wanna be spoiled when they end the cutscenes? Stop watching right now. I don't mind if you don't watch anymore. But I'm gonna keep going for those of you who don't care or already played this game. Yeah, it's just stupid. If anyone who wants to watch his cutscenes, you can go on YouTube. There are people who've actually, who have just, I was this guy on YouTube who takes games and uses only the cutscenes. And I'll put them in a certain order so that it looks like it's a movie or something. So that people who don't play the game can just pretty much watch the game. And I know he's done this game, I'm pretty sure he has. Because all I really gotta do is put the cutscenes in order to do a little bit of gameplay. Because you gotta make sure it looks like he's actually going there, but you know. Sums the game up real quick, you know. I know he's done Sonic Adventure, I've watched that one. I don't know why I did, but I just wanted to see how good they were. Because it takes a lot to figure out what order the cutscenes have to go into for them all to be in chronological order. And I thought Sonic Adventure would be the hardest one because it has six different storylines all interlinked in some kind of way. Well, that's right, you have an air thing in this game. If you guys don't get what I mean by that. In uh, all the other games, you have armor with like oxygen tanks on it, really. And there's such a thing as an air limit. There's unlimited air. And you will get a helmet later in this game that does the same thing, so... It's not that bad. The air can't really do much until... There is, there is a point where you have to, you, yeah, you have to go through a part with water, and it is very hard to do because you don't have the mask. But I'll have to keep that secret until we get there. He's stuck on the. Get off of there. <laughs> Is it? Is there anything can break? This isn't that hard, watch this, all you gotta do is go down here, and then... They did a good job with the water here, it doesn't have that little flat line or anything like most games do. Watch. Let's see. Well, it does have the flat line, but it's so thin, it's like one pixel thick, and there's so many pixels in this game, it's not that bad. And I love how everyone says, like, and, like Nintendo has worse graphics than PlayStation. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. Nintendo's ahead of you guys in graphics. It's just PlayStation is since they're far more ahead in the generations than Nintendo was, uh, they can make better use of those graphics. Like I'm gonna be honest here, N64 had the exact same number of graph the number of bits in the graphics that uh um PlayStation 3 had, 64 bit, but uh PlayStation 3 got on a disc and made better use of those bits. And 64 was on a cartridge. And then PS1, PS2, Wii, and all the other systems really were just 32 bit. Anything like Genesis and Super Nintendo were 16 bit, and then like old like Nintendo and stuff were 8 bit. So you can kind of tell graphics really improved. It's like you guys are dumbasses thinking Nintendo's on ahead of you guys. Usually Nintendo starts the generation of new systems. 
they usually make better systems than everyone else. And just, just being honest here. But I mean, I mean, nonetheless, I, I, I don't get all three systems usually because there's just like Xbox and all the Halo and stuff. Oh, the glitch! My favorite glitch. Yes, it looks like it's flooded. It's flooded. I flooded the room and it still works nowhere. The best part about this glitch is if you go underwater, I think it has unlimited air. I'm not going to test it because if I do. This is a funny sound. Listen to this. Um, it's a funny sound usually. Well, crap, my glitch isn't on anymore. You turned off my glitch. Oh, well. The glitch was getting kind of annoying, so. What I ever got is some enemies will drop the bolts, like, right where you hit them. And some of them will drop them where they land. It's like, what the f is wrong with you guys? Sometimes I'll land in the water and stuff. You gotta go... Like searching for the bolts, and it's like some of the times there's they just land right next to you, it's like real easy to get them. I think all the enemies should have dropped them right when you hit them because you don't go exploring for bolts that you miss. Like these guys, watch this. See, the bolts all came out right here, whereas those birds they drop them right when you hit them, and they go flying the same way actually. So it's funny, it's even funnier, it's the same, that they'll do two different methods of dropping the bolts in the same level. With, like, similar enemies and everything, it's kind of funny. And at first, this level's the only one where you really notice it. The other levels, as much as it happens, you won't notice it as much, because they'll sit there for a while, you'll have time to walk over to them before they die. Yeah. Oh, I don't need any ammo? That sucks. Oh, yeah, by the way, this new weapon we got, I should show off, probably. Uh, this is the weapon you start off with, the bomb glove, you just throw bombs. And this is the one we just bought. You need to get all the weapons to get 100% by the way. And what it does is it shoots flames. Which is pretty cool, I guess. We do this. See, it's, it's similar to the wrench, it's just more uh, ongoing with this attack. It's good for when you have like swarms of enemies on you, you can get them all down real quick. That's, what like. That's actually what it's for. You get a little swarm of small enemies, uh, just one shot and it's usually dead. So, that's what the Pyro's header is usually used for. But really, uh, unless you're trying for 100% getting all the weapons, I really can't suggest buying that one. But like I said, I'm getting them all, so I'm gonna get it. This game, all you gotta do is buy them all. The other ones, you gotta upgrade them all, which is really annoying. example of how powerful this thing is. See, I got them all killed real quick. See, it's great for small enemies that you don't want to kill with your wrench. It's really great for the enemies. They, they hurt you yeah, when you get near them too much. It's really great for those. <coughs> I even use it for the occasional boss sometimes, so. It's really good for this, the first boss in this game, but not the others. Kind of sad. Break all these. Okay. <sighs> Great day to get LP. I, I gotta keep this game in my mind, cause like, if you screw up a little step, it's gonna happen like this. And... You know what? I think I already started an LP for this on my channel. I'm gonna have to go delete that, cause I don't want like 10 LPs going on at once. And you know how bad that is.
I'm a body rabbit. Oh, more cutscenes, and oh, I gotta get these cutscenes in there. I don't want to stop start two videos at once. I hate doing this, but I do when this kind of thing happens. God. I hate those stupid search engines that start up whenever you start a new window, whenever you accidentally download some program. It's like, why would you do that? The one's, the one's gonna sit there through that. That's why I'm slowing down my computer anyway. I can safely start the next video. Okay, so we got two videos going on at once. Thanks for watching.